Why are people so fearful of comets, much more than just about any other kind of heavenly object? It's because there was a doomsday comet, and everything we ever thought about comets, every symbol, every hieroglyph for comets, anywhere in the world, uh, was given by the symbolism or the story of the great comet, and that figure was Venus. So there's a character of the planet Venus that stands out amongst the early cultures, and it will always culminate in the story of the terrible comet Venus, this frightful form in the sky. And that form, incidentally, is nothing else than the terrible aspect of the mother goddess. It must have looked huge, David, as it was approaching. Huge. Oh, well, it, was, it wasn't just huge. It, it, it was earth-threatening in every sense of the phrase. And, uh, and it was discharging to a spectacular level. Now, where did this story of the, the mother goddess, the form in the sky that personified light and radiance and glory and love and, and life, how did it happen that that story around the world culminates in this goddess growing angry, the terrible goddess, the angry goddess, the witch, the mm -hmm. hag, and so on? Uh, threatening to destroy the world, raging across the sky with this wildly disheveled, fiery, smoky hair. That's the story of the Great Comet. Now ask yourself this, how many cultures in the world did not remember Venus as the Mother Goddess? There's only one planet that any culture called the Mother Goddess. Now th that is telling you, don't believe in accidents. That couldn't be just a coincidence. It's the coherent memory speaking in the early astronomies. The mother goddess is this planet, Venus. Now, that's worldwide. That's oceanic. That's the Americas. That's throughout the, the Near East, China, ancient Egypt, ancient Mesopotamia. Always, the mother goddess is the planet Venus.